Hi everyone, this is Sarah from politicallyincorrecthealth.com. Today I'm going to be talking about the benefits of drinking milk kefir and also how you can make it at home. Now you can source milk kefir grain from a family member or friend, that's the best place to get it, or you can also get it from culturesforhealth.com. They have many other cultures you can get like yogurt cultures or sourdough starters. They have many great products. Now, milk kefir can be made from cow, goat, or coconut milk, and it contains more than 50 strains of live bacteria and yeast, which is a lot more than yogurt. Yogurt contains about four strains of live bacteria and yeast. Making it, uh, fermenting it takes about 12 to 48 hours. I'm currently on the GAPS diet, and the rule is to at least ferment it for 24 hours. So I do it between 24 to 36 hours, typically. Um, even people with lactose intolerance can typically digest milk kefir once it's fermented. Um, and that's especially with raw milk. Now, people with lactose intolerance, they typically have an intolerance to the pasteurization or homogenization of milk, not to raw milk itself. So people, when they start drinking raw milk, they find that they can completely digest it normally. Now, other people, like myself on the GAPS diet, have to heal their guts first before you can completely drink milk by itself. So that's why we have to ferment it into yogurt or kefir. Um, now, another benefit is it balances good and, bacteria, good and bad bacteria in the intestines. It also contains tryptophan, which has a relaxing effect on the nervous system. Now right now I'm going to show you how to make milk kefir at home. It's very simple. So I've taken my milk kefir grains that I've strained out from the last batch. And as you can see, it kind of resembles a little bit like cauliflower. And so I'm going to take all of it really, but all you really need for a quart of milk kefir is one to two tablespoons of the kefir grain. But I'm just going to use all of it because I don't really know what to do with the rest of them. They just keep on growing. Okay, once you put it into your glass mason jar, you want to take your raw milk. And you can source raw milk from a campaign for real milk, and their website is realmilk.com. I get mine in the Atlanta area from Carlton Farms. They're in Rockmart, Georgia. They make a few deliveries a week to Atlanta. I've actually been to their farm, and they have an awesome farm. This is really great grass-fed raw dairy. It's non-homogenized. I've seen their cows. They're on the pasture all day long and they're very happy animals, they treat them very well. So you want to shake it up because when it's non-homogenized milk, the cream separates from the milk. You want to pour it right on top of the milk kefir grain and leave just a little bit of space at the top for it to expand at the end. And just cover it with a towel counter for 24 to 48 hours and then you're done. And once that time has elapsed, you can strain out the milk of your grains and it's ready to drink. And you can enjoy it in smoothies or just straight by itself. This is Sarah from politicallyincorrecthealth.com.